911, where's your emergency? Uh, I need an ambulance. Mm -hmm. I believe we have two dead people next door. There's three young children roaming. Okay. The Why do you think they're deceased? Because there's blood all over the floor and the wall. Do you know the people that live there? Yes, I do. Carlos Ortiz and Tara. There was a bullet hole in the wall. A shocking scene in the bedroom. Deputies are following leads already late at night. Unclear if this is domestic or something far more evil. Wow. wow. That was a sneak peek at the all new show, The Real CSI Miami. It is the brainchild and the minds behind the CSI scripted television franchise, but this time around, it is a true crime series. True crime. Wow. Each episode features gripping real life crime cases and the cutting edge forensic science used to solve them all. So, here now to tell us about it is executive producer and the creator of CSI, Anthony Zyker. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much. Very exciting. New stuff. We have a brand new baby. It's, you know, it's an honor. <laughs> you know, we're, we're CBS babies. We've been here now more than, you know, more than 20, well, about 25 20 years. years. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so I love all the CSIs. I used to be addicted to watching CSI Miami. So it's so interesting. Um, it, obviously, you have such a, a, a talented team, but to, is it how different is this now that you're dealing with stories that are true? Well, it's interesting, you know, uh, the, the scripted show was around for 25 years. We did CSI, obviously Vegas, Miami, New York, Cyber, and Vegas again. But now we have the unscripted version, the real CSI Miami. It's, it's wonderful because it is true. They are the real CSIs, the real investigators, the real victims, you know, the, the, the real suspects. And to see the body cam footage and the real photography and, and have the real people kind of walk us through uh, these these authentic cases is a wonderful treat for the crime enthusiast and especially great treat for our CSI fan. In college, you were involved in competitive forensics. What what exactly is that? Well, it was it wasn't like first to do a good microscope. It wasn't that. It was forensic <laughs> speech. I actually chose forensics as an elective in high school, thinking it was Quincy, forens uh, you know forensic yeah, sure. stuff. It was actually forensic speech, only to do a show about forensic science, if any of that makes any sense. So oh my that's my history of, of forensics. But um, I love the so I love the puzzle. I love the solve. I love the science. And just the only child kid from Vegas that wrote one TV script and changed history. I mean, really, it changed not just your life, but so many others. It's the most watched show in the world, the CSIs. Yeah, I, I still can't believe it. I mean, I, I started the show when I was 28 years old. I'm 55 as I sit here. Started the show in 1998, 2024. After doing 901 episodes over the course of a quarter century, it just seems surreal. All right, forget, I'm going to read something. For, tell me if I'm true. You're about to go out and play basketball with friends when your first wife asked you to stay in and watch the new detectives on the Discovery Channel. And you said that changed everything for you. Is that true? Well, yeah, she, 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 we, she actually said come in and watch television, get out of the heat because it was hot in Las Vegas. Uh, I happened to turn on the channel of the new detectives on Discovery Channel. It was the Linda Sobeck case, the Raider cheerleader who was killed by the photographer in an episode called Lethal Obsession. That was the uh, that was the moment I watched that particular show and had the idea and the light bulb went off that the body is the perfect specimen to solve crime and it would be a new twist on a on a cop drama. Incredible, just incredible. So as we watch this and you're putting together the real footage and, and, and the real CSI stuff behind it, do you expect that there'll be new breaks in the cases also? I, I think so. I, I think the one thing I was surprised about watching the show back with the real interviews is the fact that A, the emotionality of the victims really, really hits hard mm. and home because it is authentic and be the real forensics of the photography, the footage, as you unpack it and it's real, uh, also is very weighty and hits home too. Um, I think that's the one-two punch I didn't expect in terms of the gravitas of the show. And that's what makes it a cut above the average uh, unscripted show. All right, you, now if it's, this is, might not be for children, but you did do something for children. Recently launched your first animated series for kids, Miss Mysteriopolis. Yes, that was a while back. Uh, we also, my wife and I, Michelle, have this wonderful uh, children's book company called Zyker Press, where we do uh, graphic novels of real children's issues with divorce, cyberbullying, oh, cool. uh, autism. I think that's one of our, our greatest legacies going forward. Um, so we're in the children's space to help kids, and we're also justice for victims in our television show, CSI. That is wonderful. Well, yeah, gosh, I we're mean... amazed by you. <laughs>
Thank you. I'm a busy, I'm a busy guy. What are you you're doing? a busy guy. Yeah, you're you're busy guy. Glad your wife told you to come on in and watch TV. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, thanks for being with us. Just a reminder, we want everyone at home to know you can catch the debut of The Real CSI Miami this Wednesday at 10 p.m. right here on Channel 3. Thank you so much, Anthony. We appreciate your time. All right, that was a great show right here on Great Yeah, we're Day happy that all of you are here, and I hope you stay because we have all your breaking news and weather ahead on Eyewitness News at 4. I'll see you in a second. Whoa.